against a tree or something. Somebody's fishing line. It was coming. Three pounder. Nice. Well, I'm at the lake today, as you can see. Just going to do uh, some bank fishing tips and tricks that I've learned. Let you guys know about them. Maybe it helped you guys out. New reel. What do you think about that? Sexy. This is the five three to one. But uh starting out the jig. Always uh pull a little line out so your jig will fall straight down with really with any bait. It'll fall straight down instead of fall towards you. That's a uh, big key to this. And uh, since it's very cold, I just barely twitch the rod and work the jig in. I'll let it set for maybe 10 or 15 seconds sometimes, sometimes even longer. I mean, if I catch a fish and I've let it set for 30 seconds then that's the pattern I'm wanting to use but uh I've been fishing for a little while today and I haven't got a bite but it's been a horrible week of weather and you can feel it hit and I, I like to stop it when you hit stuff so as uh most everyone knows uh bass will pull up against uh trees and rocks and stuff so if you're down there hitting them and you stop as soon as you hit one you may get lucky and fall right down into a fish's mouth or right in front of its face anyways but the main thing that has worked for me is be very slow I mean, work it uh, really slow and then uh, just slow down a little bit more You'll find the right uh, feel to the bait of how you're moving it. Especially after you uh, get a bite, then you'll know. But uh, that's the way I fish a jig. Well, this is a football jig. But uh, I'm going to get a different bait on and uh, we'll talk about it. So stay tuned. All right, this uh, next tip is on the crankbait. Uh, it's a square bill. And uh, this is using your rod, really. I mean, if you uh, raise it up, it's going to uh, bring the crankbait up higher in the water column. So if I'm down here, and I'm just absolutely digging into the bottom. I'll just raise up my rod tip until I feel that it's about right where it's just scraping rocks and uh, brush. It's one thing, uh, other thing you want to do, or I like to do is if I feel my uh, square bill hit something hard, I will pause sometimes and uh, it's like a uh, disoriented bait fish and you'll get hits like that sometimes but uh, this is a simple tip I mean just you can tell when you move your rod tip up and down you can feel the difference in the uh, crankbait hitting the bottom helps out a lot in the uh, river and stuff for me when you got um 
big rocks or you got the bottom is way uh wavy and not in um not flat when you hit a shallow spot you can raise the tip of your rod up and keep it from uh getting hung up sometimes and dig them way down into the dirt but uh other times you may want to dig down into the dirt as hard as you can so it helps to uh lower it i mean i've even put mine in the water underwater and uh work my crankbait to get it down just a little bit more but uh, that's a really good tip it does help a lot and uh see what else i can find in my box to uh tell you guys about so stay tuned all right the uh next tip is a drop shot most of you know drop shot there's the weight there's the bait it's uh kind of hard to tie until you uh, learn how to do it then it's very easy but uh for some reason uh I've noticed a lot of people think that the drop shot doesn't work for some reason around here i mean i've uh i think i was fishing uh patrick henry lake and there's some people up behind me as I was in the water on my kayak and uh they see me using a drop shot and uh i heard them talking and saying that it didn't work around here i've caught tons of fish on this drop shot and uh well on the in my uh christmas tournament that i caught that 19 inch uh three and a half pound largemouth on a drop shot so they do work i mean you can mimic a uh dying bait fish very easy with this and uh especially now in the cold working it very slow it's awesome bait i mean all you really have to do let it sink to the bottom then just kind of pull up and or give it a couple little nods and jerks and twitches but uh that's all i do i let it sink and then i'll just snap it like that and then your bait's coming up and falling back down and uh i really like using paddle tails on it because it works that paddle tail like crazy going up and down like that but this is a very effective bait in the cold weather. I love using it. It's probably one of my top three uh, ways to fish. I mean, you could fish any, pretty much any soft plastic on here. Flukes, worms. You can wacky rig a worm like with it. You can Texas rig. I got a small hook on now because I'm using them. Um, the uh i think this is the bass munitions uh rainbow trout one but i mean i got the small hook because i'm using that but you can use regular size uh texas rig hooks texas rig your worm or any kind of soft plastic and uh that's gonna help keep it weedless and i like to use the um barrel weights it helps with uh hang ups a lot too i've noticed with like the round smaller round weights they'll get stuck in between rocks and stuff and that makes it kind of expensive when you fish tungsten and you uh are in a river and you uh break off 15 times a day so that's why i like to use these they don't seem to get hung up as much but i think i got um one more thing i want to get out and uh talk about with everyone so uh just hang on a minute all right last thing i'm going to talk about is the um jerk bait uh it's a uh, very interesting bait for me i'll um give it a couple jerks let it set for like three to five seconds then um i'll give it some more jerks but i don't try to uh, make a rhythm out of it like if i jerk it twice then i'll wait maybe three seconds then i'll jerk it maybe five times wow this doesn't sound right <laughs> but uh then i'll wait 
maybe five seconds then I'll make just uh, twitch it once and uh, again you're uh, mimicking a dime bait fish pretty much but something else I've uh, caught fish with I don't get hung up and lose it is I well I mean I've looked it up on YouTube and I've not really seen anybody do it but I just slow reel it sometimes and I've actually caught fish doing that quite a bit actually I think the uh, first uh, fall largemouth I caught was I was slow rolling it at that uh, little creek that runs into the lake here under at that bridge I think I was using that and I'm a this one's six cents but uh it's a different technique and I looked it up on YouTube and I've not seen anybody talk about it in videos so I don't know if it's just me getting lucky and nobody ever uses it or what but I mean it has worked for me so that gives you a, a different option with the uh, old jerk bait instead of just uh, jerking it and the uh, jerk bait is really good in the winter and spring summer fall I mean all year jerk bait is one of your uh, better baits to go to and use I mean it makes for the fish think they're getting an easy meal of a fish that's just about dead and there's so many different ways you can work it I mean some people jerk and reel and jerk and reel and they don't pause ever it's just uh I guess more or less how you pattern the fish for when they're biting the, the jerk bait but I think that's going to do me for today I just want to uh give you guys some tips on what I've been uh, using to catch fish with I mean I've done pretty good this fall catching some uh, nice fish I won the uh, Christmas tournament and uh I won it by Texas rig and I just slowly work the Texas rig I would throw it out there and let it sink to the bottom I would let it set before I'd even touch it for probably 20 seconds then I just slowly jerk it up three or four times and I just let it set I mean I was pretty much dead sticking the bait but that's what was working so that's what I did and uh, I won because of it and yeah, I watch. I caught that big largemouth on a drop shot, but I mean, it was still the same, pretty much the same technique. I was using the uh, one of the little Mega Bass uh, paddle tail minnows, but I mean, with the drop shot, I was still letting it set for ever before I would twitch the rod. But uh, just wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks, maybe help somebody out this uh fall and winter it's almost winter and the uh, fishing's just going to get slow and slow and slow until uh, spring and starts warming back up but uh hopefully this might help one of you guys uh get on some fish and uh as always thanks for watching guys hey everyone i hope you uh all enjoyed the bank fishing tips I mean that's the um that's the way I've been fishing mostly this fall now going into winter I'm gonna keep doing the same thing because it's working so well it's uh done very good for me I've caught uh, quite a few fish this fall way more than I have uh, caught last year but uh I'm gonna end this video with a Christmas giveaway to be entered you need to like the video be subscribed and comment uh, the hashtag giveaway and um, I want to do a $50 Bass Pro gift card that way everybody can use the Bass Pro card you can get order online or go to your local Bass Pro shop if you have one 
so that will uh, pretty much cover everybody and um, if you're like me you absolutely love getting a gift card from Bass Pro that's the free tackle of your choosing any fisherman or outdoors person would be crazy if they didn't uh, like that so I think that's what we're gonna do I will run this giveaway to maybe a few days after Christmas because Christmas is gonna be hectic I got three kids so we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff during the uh, holiday so uh, just hashtag giveaway to enter and like the video subscribe pretty much the same as always easy giveaways the way I like to do it I don't like how uh, some people do their giveaways and you got like 50 steps to go through it's just insane why make it so hard but uh I hope you guys enjoyed the tips and uh good luck to everyone on the giveaway stay tuned